Hey everyone and welcome to week 34 of the OLED burn-in test for my LG C9 OLED. As always what we'll do is we'll start with the information regarding the panel. So as you can see just here UTT the hours used is 1382 so 1382 hours. The mini pixel refresh account is on 263 and the major one is on one. So the mini one kicks in every four hours of continuous use. So every time you've used the TV for more than four hours continuously, it will do a mini pixel refresh. And the major one was the manual one that I actually ran right at the start when I first purchased the the panel. So with the Okay, so whilst this is kicking in, um, firstly, as always, uh, the reason for running these tests is basically to give people an idea in terms of what uh, the panel actually um, reacts like. Um, this, obviously, just bring that into focus, sorry. Just lock that in. Yes, so basically this panel, as, as I've said, is 34 weeks old now. And basically I've been using it for gaming, for sports, for movies, TV shows. Since day one, uh, not really babied the TV in any particular way. Um, I did initially change some of the settings. That's more to do with my preference as opposed to trying to restrict or prevent burning as a result of that. But obviously burning and image retention is something that is uh, most prevalent when it comes to any type of OLED videos, especially TVs on the on the internet um, and in, on YouTube in particular. Um, OLED is an easy target as plasma was in the past and as a result there's a lot of misinformation that goes around and the idea be behind these particular vid videos, uh, the ones this particular series with regards to the C9 OLED burning tests is literally just to show everybody for themselves week by week um, both the usage in terms of hours and everything as well as obviously you can see from my gaming videos and things like that uh, the playlist on my channel that in order for me to film that obviously the, the TV has to be used for that type of content um, so basically it's just to put, put people's mind at ease um, only this week I got a message from one of my subscribers basically just stating that um, recent LG C10 or CX owner and basically a little uh, apprehensive, a uh, little bit of buyer's remorse in terms of thinking, have I made a mistake with regards to buying the OLED TV because their main use case would have been similar to what mine is, which is gaming, um, sports, movies, that kind of thing. And basically having watched the channel, obviously it's put their mind at ease a little. That is vindication in terms of why I actually do this. Um, so thank you very much to that particular subscriber who posted it. Obviously that's what makes it worthwhile in terms of basically making these videos. Um, the other reason is obviously if and when any burning or failure does occur, with this um, week by week record of the events if you like, it gives everybody a better idea um, in terms of future reference. Um, how a panel could possibly fa fail and how long it would take it to fail. Um, and obviously all of this is very subjective and it comes down to the individual use cases. Somebody, for example, who uses it mainly for um, movies and TV shows and mixed content. So nothing like where they're gaming eight hours a day, every day, and that's the only content that is used on that particular set. That is going to be very different from the person that does use mixed usage. And really the, the easiest and the, the best way for you to mitigate any type of burning or failure of the panel is literally just to use it for everything. So just have some mixed usage. But obviously there are people out there, especially with this this series, the CX, uh, the 2020 TVs came, that came out. And LG obviously realized that the, with the 48 inch, obviously I think Sony followed. I believe Sony have also released a 48 inch um, OLED panel now as well. But it's obviously not um, as catered for the gaming market because it's it's got virtually no 2.1 ports. Um, which is a whole whole different um, video altogether. But basically, LG really uh, narrowed in on the gamers market with the release of the new consoles and um, obviously having um, supposed 2.1 full 2.1 support. Um, uh, once again, that's that's also a different different video altogether. But what it does mean is that you, they've got a whole new pool of customers who are literally only using these TVs primarily for gaming or for those also who use it primarily just for sports because of the motion handling um, and on the c10 series the motion handling is even better than it is on c9 because of the 
the native uh, frame rates and um, refresh rates of certain content. So with that said, basically what what this this video does and all of these kind of videos do, do are basically give everybody a track record. So with all of that said, um, past week it past week's usage has pretty much mainly just been sports. Um, there's been a little bit of gaming in there uh, where my son's used it um, after school and things like that. But main usage has actually been last weekend where because of COVID and everything, all the games are spaced out now. So we did get a chance to watch quite a few games back to back. Um, most of them literally were just on in the background, but it was it's it's still eight eight odd hours of continuous um, static load, logos, if you like. And obviously that would only be for 45 minutes at a time. And they would have been on different channels, most likely. So some, some of the logos would have been up here in the top left. Um, your clock would always be, and your scorecard would always be there. Sometimes you'd have a little logo down here and some, some of them also had a logo in the top right as well. So with all of that, obviously you still got static content. And as you can see from these burning tests, um, basically it, the, the picture's flawless. Um, I've not noticed a single dead pixel. That's another thing that obviously somebody did post about recently where they've obviously suffered some dead pixels and that's led to, to panel damage. Um, no dead pixels on this, um, no type of um, decrease in brightness, no no um, spots of um, discoloration or any, any type of um, degradation, if you like. So there's no areas where you'd, you'd expect the static content in this top left, for example. You'd expect maybe if it's trying to compensate for that. Um, and with that, it's done. So I'll just pull back out of that. And as I say, um, if you are interested in obviously looking back through these, I have a whole playlist set up here. And as we can see, it goes from week seven and I'll be updating these weekly every single time. And in here, I believe, yep, just there, we've got a little tips video. Um, there is also another one in the TV and videos playlist. So just in here, I do also have some additional tips and tricks um, just like that. And if we go further down, there is also yeah, so for anybody who's basically using either an OLED or a different technology, I also have this particular video here, which is the blooming test video. And I believe I did also create my own um, burning test video as well. It will be in this playlist somewhere. I tend to use that same one that I've been using throughout just to keep it um, consistent. And obviously, as, as I was mentioning at the start of the video, basically, if we come down, you can see from this gaming gaming playlist, these are all on this particular set. And if we come down here, you can see all of these literally like an hour long, um, hour long videos. So as you can see that the set is always used um, just as any other TV would be. I've not babied this TV in any way. And that's what I believe everybody else should be doing as well. So with that, obviously, this is a much longer video than normal, so I'll call it call it an end. Um, there will be a lot more videos coming, so if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.